In this clip, I'll walk you through the steps to use FECFILE to set up your independent expenditure filing database and create a quarterly report. Before starting, you'll need to download the software from our website and have the Getting Started manual for independent expenditure filers on hand. All of this information can be found on the Commission website. Let's begin by opening FECFILE from the desktop. If you're using FECFILE for the first time, at the opening screen you'll choose Create a new committee file to create a new database file. For each subsequent filing, it's important to open the same database file. Do not create a new database file each time you file a report. To get started, the software would prompt you to select the type of filer and the corresponding form type. For individuals and organizations filing independent expenditures, the option specifies F5 because they'll report their activity using FEC Form 5. You'll see two categories of independent expenditure filers that use FEC Form 5, individuals and organizations. For this tutorial, I'm going to file as an organization. Now that you've selected your filing type, you must provide information about yourself or your organization, starting with the FEC identification number. Enter it here. If you don't already have an ID number, you must visit our website to request one. If you do, skip ahead in the video to continue. Start at the home page. Click Help for Reporting and Compliance, then move to Filing Information, then click Reporting Forms. Scroll down to find the Form 5 web form link for non-registered entities or persons without an assigned FEC ID number. Enter your email address here, then continue to fill out all of the information for your first filing. Once you complete and submit your filing, you'll be assigned an identification number that you'll be able to use in your FEC file software. Going back to the software, go ahead and enter your ID number in the form. Next, enter your name and address. It's important to enter complete and accurate information throughout the setup process because this information will appear on every report you file. Once your information is filled out, the software will prompt you to create your first report. At the report information screen, you'll specify the type of report and the coverage dates for that report. After you finish entering the dates, you'll need to enter details about the person making the expenditure and who will be signing the Form 5. This is the first chance to add a new entity and their information into your database. Click once in the Sign By field and hit the Tab key on your keyboard. This will open the Individual Organization Information window where you can enter the name, address, occupation, and employer for the individual signing the form. While I'm finishing this form, more information about entering contributions, expenditures, and time-sensitive disclosure requirements associated with independent expenditures is available in other videos in our series. Click OK and you've added an individual to your database and you're ready to move on. Before you do, be sure to save your data file. The .dcf file is the only copy of your data, so be sure to save the file often, in an accessible location, and with a name that you'll remember. Also, regularly back up the file on a flash drive, external hard drive, or CD. In the next video in our independent expenditure series, I'll walk you through the process of adding contributions and expenditures to your report and uploading them to the FEC.